work it all the way out. Oh, that looks juice. Oh, he's awake. Wake, wake, wake. I see it. Oh. Come on, Go get back it. Back into that Yep. I see. You swiped it. Yep. Get back in there. That was a nice one. About two and a half, maybe three. All right, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy Sam. I'm out here with Dave and Junior once again in the glades. Say what's up, guys. What's up? As you guys saw, I lost the one on a frog. I had two follow-ups. Uh, not sure what's wrong with me today. I'm on the uh, struggle bus for sure, but we're heading down south in this canal that we just saw on Google Maps. It's a bit cloud. Well, it's very cloudy. Looks like it's gonna rain later. Hopefully, it's good for us and it keeps tropical depression. Yeah, <laughs> tropical depression berry on the north of us right now. But whatever, we're still out here grinding. Hopefully, we can get on some fish for you guys in a minute. Mm -hmm. on the first bass of the day. Oh, nice crankbait. That's a two and a half. Two and a half. All right. Thank you for your fight. Let them go, let them grow. I got you, I got you. Right in, right I got in. you. Nice. That, my friends, is Finally. Fish. Finally we got one. Like an hour since the last one. Gosh, man, oh man, he hit the main hook. Oh. That's, that's a nice fish. Two and a half pounder. Not too bad. Pull spawn female, nice. Get all head on her. Um, he's he's a solid fish, yeah. Hey, grab the neck, cause I'm I got one. <laughs> when I'm in the pads, oh, I'm out. I'm out the pads. Nice bass. Oh my God, he spit it right there. No. Oh, he no. was he made yours look like a dink. Oh my God. Junior on a decent little bass, finally. I know, finally. He was driving the struggle bus earlier, but it's all good. <laughs> Definitely working. Go. All right, guys. Mid morning update. First spot wasn't too productive, shall we say? I lost the two, the one on top water, that other on that voodoo mullet trout pattern little swim bait I had. Um, that was easy. What do you think? Five, six pounds. Her tail was, I mean. My man, her tail was this thick. Yeah, she was fat. That's, I mean, for me, from what I catch down here, that's easy eight, nine all day. But the bottom line is, is we gotta get her in the boat because everybody loves a fish I story. I didn't do anything wrong. Nobody did anything wrong. She just spit it, as you guys saw. Um, how she I spit had a that, travel hook is beyond me. I don't know how she did that, but. Had the bowfin, Junior had that small one. But no, it's been it's been a grind. We're here, our second spot of the day. Let's see if we can get it done. Yeah. Big bowfin. Nice. I'm gonna crack and crawl. They're biting on the bottom. All right, first decent fish is a bowfin. Not hey, the best, but... No bueno. We got there. 
Nice little bass. Decent bass. Nice. First official largemouth of the day for me. Beautiful. They're right on the bottom. Hog. Another one. Nice bass. Nice, nice bass. bass. Coming right at us. On this ultralight, that's real nice. Nice. Double hook. Double hook set. That means you want it. No, no, no. Second large mouth of the day. Nice fatty. About three pounder. Cut on old trench hog, blue baby. Nice little. He wanted it, he destroyed it. Thank you, big girl. Look at that. Oh! Got him. Nice. Woo, nice. <laughs> it's all good, we got her. I had a backlash and I started to pick it out and then this thing smoked it right on the edge of this tree. Nice and fat. Yeah, they're not monsters, but they're chunkers. Yeah, she's fat. She's a big girl. They ain't got no length to them, but they got some weight. Nice. Hmm. No cinematic release, you're just gonna flip. I just can't believe how strong this current is. It's ridiculous. It's ripping. Nice. Spinner? I don't know what it is. No, I don't know what it is. If it's a bass, we'll get the net, but if it's not, we won't. Big bass. Nice, big bass. Big bass. <laughs> Good girl. I'm going to swing it back to you this way. All right. So, ready? Yep. Oh, wow, she's digging hard. Whoa. Big fish. Nice, nice. I'm still in the water. Hold on, let me get mine in. All right. Looks like she's at, you guys can't really see it, but it's four and a half on the boga. Nice. First, or second decent fish of the day. Yeah, that's a nice, nice girl. You got to kiss her. Oh. Ready? Let's go, babe. I told you, we're not getting numbers like we did last time. No. We're, just, we're getting quality now. It's definitely that pressure, though. That pressure is... That barometric pressure definitely put these fish in the funk. There is no doubt about it. He hit that... He hit that man, I swear. I thought he was a freaking tank. Yeah, I saw... I mean, like, he doubled I'm, over on it. I'm reeling in, and like, I didn't even get a chance to set the hook before my drag started to go. That was old stinker. And that thing was only two pounds. Smell like crap. They're disgusting. They are absolutely oh. rancid, but they're a hell of a fighter, man. Talking about Bofin, guys. Talking about the one that I caught earlier and the one he just released. I didn't show it because they're. Is a little smaller, but they are disgusting. Tear up your bait, poop all over the boat. God, all you gotta do is pan down. It looks look look at the deck right behind you. Yeah, look at it. It looked like a freaking. Looks like we were in a paint war. That's poop. Either that or a seagull got a hold of us. Oh crap! There we go. They got one. Double. Got a bass. Is it a bass? Yeah, it's a bass. Come on, Junior. <laughs> Doubled up. Flip. Nice, nice. Boat flip. There you go. Double time. Dave and Junior on twins. Good girl. Nice. 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 Finally. On the voodoo trout pattern. Another skinny, but she's 
It's real pretty. Choked it. Nice. Not too shabby. Is it a stinker? Or I think is it's it a bass. Oh, a little bass. Is nice. Is that eight pound? No. So you got eight pound braid on there? Yeah, yeah. It's my ultra light. Wow. Good, buddy. Again on the blue baby. Blue baby trench hole. Picking it up on the bottom. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice. Hold on. Put the tip up. Yep. He's digging deep, right? Hold on. That's a nice fish. Come on, let's see her. Pretty girl. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's Pretty. a stud. Oh, oh. She jumped into <laughs> Damn it, jumped in the boat. She jumped into the boat nose first. Nice. She's fat. She's a chunk. Good job. We she wanted it. Well, where that hook is? All the way down there. Nice fat little large mouth. On the bandito. Trench hog, I'm sorry. Nice. Yep. Oh my god. No, no, she spit it. Damn it. No. It just woke up. I don't know yet. Oh, one of these nasty games. Please jump off. Oh my god, he's big. Look at that. Big old stanker. Big old face. Nasty thing. Come back over here. Hold on. Trolling. Yep, I was trolling. Nice. Big fish. Nice job. Let me come back here. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't stick the net into my right, so we just caught this fatty on the voodoo. I'll show you guys. The voodoo it looks like a little trout pattern. Four inch swimming mullet they have. Let's release her. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Today was a little different. Dave called me the other day and he was like, Yo, Sam, I have some spots pinned on my phone from the Everglades. Never fished them but I'd like to try them. So we went out, we hit them up. Um, first spot, not too productive. I had that one really nice, really nice fish. It was, I'd say he was probably six to eight pounder. Just a real, real nice bass. But as you saw, that one spit the swim bait as it was coming out to the boat. We went to the second spot. We did a lot better. We should have done a little better, I believe, but I believe the tropical storm Barry or the depression that's in the Gulf right now had them a little lockjaw. The biometric pressure, I guess, messed with them. And I, we strongly believe that was the reason why we didn't get as many numbers as we thought we were going to get, but we still had a blast. Um, shout out to the Guggen squad. You guys are savages. You guys are doing great things right now. I wasn't 
a believer in your baits, in the Guggen baits, not because I didn't think it works or not that I didn't like them, but because I'm a saltwater guy mainly. My buddy Dave, strictly freshwater guy, and he got me hooked on Guggen baits. He's like, Sam, just give them a try. You know, these are awesome baits that are coming out. He gave me a couple packs. After today, I am hooked. So shout out to Robert Turkla, Lunkers TV, um, John B, Flare Fishing, AP Bassin, Alex Parrick, Justin Rackley. Hopefully I said that right. Late four guy. Um, you guys are, you guys are kicking ass. You guys are doing a good job. Um, yeah, Dave wanted me to let you guys know that because he is part of Team Guggen, that he is willing. Once we get to our 100 subscribers, he's willing to put together a care package with a bunch of Guggen baits. Um, I agreed as well. I'm gonna put together a little something something from our arsenal. Um, if you guys been following me on my Instagram page, I'll link it up on the on the bottom here in my our Facebook page. Um, you guys see some of the stuff that are in the plans that we have going on. Um, but yeah, once we hit 100 subscribers, we're gonna put together a care package for you guys. We're gonna put your names in the random generator or a little thingy online. Uh, it'll pick a name. You have to be subscribed. Make sure you share the videos and we'll put it in there. We'll, we'll pick one of you guys out and we'll promise we're gonna hook you guys up. But that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. What do you think I should do next? Um, what baits do you guys think I should toss? Where should I go? I mean, what should I do? I'm, I'm like I said in a couple of videos prior, I started out bass fishing when I was a little kid, but I'm mainly saltwater guy now. If you guys want to see more bass videos, let me know. If you guys think I'm doing something wrong, go ahead, let me know. I'm not too boastful to say that I know it all because I don't. So if you guys have any advice, any comments, hit me up and I'll try to get back to you. I try to respond to all my comments within a reasonable amount of time. I, I do have a full-time job still, but I do try to get back to you guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and share the video. Take care, God bless.